All right, so two things. Um, there isn't really, actually not two things, more than like four things. Um, there isn't really a final patch walkthrough for Dark Souls 3. There isn't really an end game walkthrough for Dark Souls 3, you know, to accommodate for different bosses and scenarios and stuff like that. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people still struggling with the end game bosses, even though, uh, you know, the game's been out for quite a long time. It's kind of like the end of its life right now, almost. Um, so yeah, I'm um, do a quick walkthrough. This is going to be the first boss I describe, because this is the boss that I know the best. And uh, his name is Dark Eater Midir. I don't know Udix Gunnir very much, but I know Midir. That's, um, that's how much I've uh, dealt with him. Now, uh, for this walkthrough, obviously, um, I'm not going to require you to have a build at all. This is going to be, you know, uh, focus. this is going to be adapted for pretty much everybody. Um, because you know, I don't really consider it a real resolution to tell someone to spend four hours grinding for a weapon or whatever, so I'm not going to go that route. Um, yeah, so what I'm personally going to do is just do what I'm comfortable with, which is, you know, something like a Dragon Slayer's Axe. That would be nice. Um, but uh, I want a little bit more AR because this is New Game Plus 7. And, uh, yeah, it's really squishy difficulty. Um, so I'm trying to think, what did I use it for? It's a lightning grits. There's locker. Grits. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this one with the uh, playing Dragon Slayer's Great Axe. But now, whatever you do, make sure your weapon has a vertical slash for this. Um, like over here, like it, ha it has some verticality, but it's kind of low. So if Medir's head comes around, uh, you know, there's a chance he might miss it. Um, so I guess I've gotta pick a different weapon. Um, restore a sword. Okay, that's a little bit better. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna have that, and I'm also gonna have the Dragon Slayer's Great Axe. Um, and, or actually no, I'm gonna use the Great Sword of uh, Great Sword of Art Warriors, so the Wolf Knight's Great Sword. This um, I have this at 99 for for uh, Dex and Strength, so it does immense damage. Um, so that's gonna be my personal preference. Again, you don't need this. Um, there's no such thing as a as a good strategy that tells you just do a bunch of damage. That's dumb. So, yeah. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, the SS ring. Um, I guess I'm going to do low armor. I mean, why not? Feeling ballsy tonight. So, yeah, so I'm just going to head over to the boss room. If I did it correctly, he should be resurrected. So I could do this. Oh, no, damn it. <laughs> Oh man. Nope. Oh, for fuck's sake. It moves so fast. So you're going to drop down, obviously. And, oh fuck, he's still dead. Okay, i got to resurrect him. <laughs> uh, well, okay. So, encountered, treated, changed that, changed that, um, zero. Right. I'm still not here in the fucking game, but whatever. Am I going to get my mid -ear? Oh, he's right fucking there. Okay. So, yeah, this is how the fight usually starts out. Um, when you get down, if you haven't, uh, if you've encountered him before, he'll just immediately get up. Okay, now he's doing this running, uh, stomping attack in a straight line. So, I'm going to try to, damn it, okay, I completely botched that. But the idea is to, like, uh, go to the side or run down his belly, uh, I think. <laughs> okay, that's a laser. There's slight tracking on this one, so you want to, you know, kind of watch your area. His head came down, so I punished. You can use this close distance. Because he did that straight pillar of flame. He might do that twice sometimes. you got to get ready, because the second flame will have a big old hitbox. And 
could you feel a lot of damage? It's not fun. Okay, now he's doing the flying attack, so I'm going to run left because that's the hit, that's where I'm, I get the farthest away from the hitbox. As you can see, he's pretty weak to sprint. Like, his mobility just lets you sprint out of everything. Wolf Knight GS is really ripping him a new one. Now see, he kind of like announces the end of his combos with like a final slam or something, you know, with that like a like a KO shot, sort of. Like he throws like a heavy attack of sorts. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's where he can hit his head, and which is pretty much where we want to be for this whole fight. Um, and yeah, and, and, and that time where he was just doing that running stomp attack, I, uh, I actually didn't botch that one, which is cool. And in case you're wondering, I'm hitting his head because he takes like triple damage on it. Otherwise, this match takes like a fucking hour. And uh, yeah, I just triggered that laser. Because see, like if you're far away, like he does a laser attack and I just got hit for being stupid. But I'm not going to use Estus yet, because, like, we're really, like, uh, we're really uh, early in the fight. Okay, that's, a, like, a sideways fire thingy. You just got to roll on that one. You might need to trip, double or triple roll, depending on how um, how well you time it. I would just triple roll to be safe. He's not, like, a big train of your stamina, anyway. Okay, he screamed, so he was going to do that big, you know, uh, chomp attack with his teeth. Sucks that I came in here, Ember. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah. So that has a... I died right there because of... Yeah, I, I died right there because of, I, I didn't space that one out and stuff. Like, because whenever he does a laser attack, it creates like a cone of fire. And my god, it's been so long since I died to that. It's just that I'm trying to talk and stuff at the same time. But anyway, I can, I can, be, um, I can conserve my resources more here. By that, I mean my Estus. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to walk through the fight. Yeah, this really sucks. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I want to use this. I mean, that's what I used last time. If I'm correct, it worked pretty nice. But I'm going to try to be a little more aggressive too, because I'm pretty sure I had time to uh, get in more attacks. When the head's coming down, I'm going to try to get in more shots. It's not necessary, but I'm going to do it. But I'm glad I was able to revive him. That's cool. And when you fall down, if you like start tapping roll real fast, you'll, you'll roll out of that stagger animation. It makes things a little bit nicer. Okay, whoa, here it comes. And, whoa. Yeah, sometimes he doesn't really let you out of range. Like, he kind of seeks on you, and then the tail whips around, too. You gotta roll that. And uh, when he does that, you want to roll back, not to the side or anything, because his paws get you. They're, like, off to the side, so it's kind of like a persistent hitbox sort of deal. I'm also uh, hugging the center of the mat and try to, you know, keep there, you know, kite him around there. Because uh, if he gets you up against a wall, he's just going to combo you with fucking death. Oh my god. Oh god, what a botch. I can't I can't believe I botched. I'm making like the dumbest mistakes because of this fucking dialogue. Oh. Now, I didn't really time that well, so you know I double rolled it just to be safe. Rolling and sprinting is pretty overpowered for this fight, as you can tell. And long weapons. You're going to give me a second one? No, that was the first one. He, he, he doesn't surprise you. Like, he tries to adapt to your skill level and stuff, but it doesn't actually doesn't work out well. It's just one or two attacks that are very um, smart. Okay, whoa. See, right, this right here, this is something you don't want to fuck with at all. 
oh shit. He kind of like moves his head from one side to the other, it sprays fire in a horizontal line, and it's just like, it, it hits real fucking hard. I mean, that was just like 900 health he just got me for. I'm really avoiding that fire cone. And because he's going to the side, I'm rolling, you know, against the laser in case I'm not like, you know, positioned right. Oof. I got lucky, that was actually very bad positioning. Ooh. See, that would have been a punishment window if I was not being an idiot. Oh, lost my lock on. That's not something you want to have happen during this match. It just, it really makes things harder because otherwise you're just constantly moving that stick and getting yourself tired and shit. I didn't exactly roll that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I got that in one roll. Look at that. Like a boss. Okay. That was really dumb, actually. Don't ever do something like that. Like, you need a window three times bigger than that if you want to ember effectively. Now, he tries to cover his attack with his flame and shit. Probably not intentional, but it, it just happens. And yeah, you, you don't want to get messed up in that. And you also don't want to be a range. He's just going to like waste your time and stamina and shit. Like, just like that. Like, I was, I was in range, so he did that fire pillar attack, and it forced me to go to the side and s slowed me down. Oh, finally, two hits. There we go. Yeah, like, you know you're doing really good when you're getting, like, two to three hits with this weapon on this, but I'm getting one. And as you can tell so far, Medeer's got, like, what, five, six attacks? <laughs> like, you know, he, he's not he's not a very... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, okay, yeah. His downward flames, you really don't want to fuck with those. Now I'm, I'm switching to one hand on this because I actually don't lose the AR when I'm one handing um, this weapon, which is really cool about this. That tail's coming. Oh, yeah. oh, oh okay, I managed to space that tail out, nice. Uh, whew, is that 25% health? So yeah, we're still really early in this fight. Ooh. Oh, see, here we go. Here's that Here's that double flame, or another variation of double flame. It's one of the more rare ones. Sometimes he does a second one that's also straight and just has like his big asset box. Yeah. Okay. God, he's so fucking aggressive. Yeah, see? And now I'm one-handing um, this sword because I get more DPS that way. And that's really the case with most uh, swords. One-handing really does give you more DPS. Unless, of course, your uh, two-handed move is uh, faster. Like with almost no weapons. Not really necessary for, for this fight. You know, it's not like you're dealing with Flexile Sentry where like you're really up against the clock. Uh, see, this was a good one. This was, oh, no. No, terrible. I, oh, God, I celebrated too fucking early. I thought I was going to get a good punish on that one. Oh, oh shit. Sloppy, sloppy. So fucking sloppy. Medeer's like my fucking daddy. Like, what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Here's an AoE blast. Boom. Now you might get some dark orbs that come and does that you want to kind of go under his chin and his head will cover you. Ooh, that was bad. I kind of took the wide part of the cone. Boom. Boom. This is, oh yeah, see so here we go, here come the orbs, 
They're gonna. Oh, they're already homing in. I'm gonna roll forward. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was so fucking bad. I really fucked that up. Oh man. That that was just like a spam fest right there. That's not something you want to happen. I, see, because the thing is, like, you can know all the moves and stuff, but you know, there's always that physical barrier. If you don't meet that physicality requirement, you, you know, n nothing you know is gonna come out. You know. So you could be really have really good sense of tactics and stuff, or just really know what you're doing, and, but uh, it's not going to show at all. Okay, he, now he's trying to go for some ranged attacks, I think, here. He's going to do like do some uh, uh, rave party laser bullshit. This is... Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> uh, the thing, but the beauty of it is that it's so fast that, um, you know, you really... It, like, w once you roll through it, you know, it's likely that you'll iframe it. He's tired now, he's taking a nap. You could hit him there for sure. It's a nice window to get Ember there too, I think, without any real issues. Now, and he's really trying to fuck me up now. Like he like he threw an attack that was that was actually a real counter and stuff because he was just all over me. And he's throwing it again because the AI knows that um I, that I that I was in range for that one. But I positioned my head here. Go for the fucking counter. That's right, motherfucker. All right. Ah, right, here we go. Another AOE blast. It's not too big. This was good distance here. It's like, how dare you punish my emergency attack? What the fuck? Now, I don't know how big the hitbox is for that, but I'm not really uh, big on, like, taking chances and stuff. Let's see if this crits. Okay, this that crits okay. Let's see if I get more damage off this one. Cool. Okay, not really. Okay, he gave me a polite attack. I'm just gonna repair my weapon, keep my DPS up. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I got it. Oh, no, no, no. I, well, okay, so yeah, as you can tell, I got that orb attack nice. My physicality problems didn't really uh, fuck me up there. Whoa. And he's like down to low health, but you know, he could still one shot. That's the thing. He can combo you, one shot you, whatever the fuck he wants to do. It'll do it. And I got him. Bye bye, red eyes, black dragon. Yeah, Midir's more of like a puzzle boss. He's not really on. Um, you know, he's not, he's not pontiff, you know, we're like, it's like all reactions and shit. And you, and you also have no patterns with him. It's really just, you know, patterns and knowing what to do. Um, yeah. Take that victory bonfire. Um, this definitely wasn't my best run. For some reason, his health bar is still showing, which is a little fucked up. Um, okay. Yeah. Air of fire destroyed. There we go. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. I remember that one giving me a heart attack in Xbox, but I was like, damn, is he gonna, is there another phase? What the fuck? You know? <laughs> But I think by, by that time I died like 90 times, so I didn't care. But yeah, so yeah, that's how you do Medir, New Game Plus 7. And to prove I'm a New Game Plus 7, um, you know, if you didn't see the immense fucking damage I was taking, um, I'm just going to go into my playthrough count. Stats. New Game Type, clear count, 12. Okay, so yeah, I'm on New Game Plus 7, difficulty, playthrough number 13. There's no difficulty above New, claim, new Game Plus 7. So yeah, so this is confirmed for Endgame and stuff. Um, and yeah. That's uh, that's Dark Eater Medir, the Dank Eater Medir, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Well, and why am I seeing his health bar again? Oh, you know, I think it's a script. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> this is so funny. Boss is six gunny. Ah, there we go. See, uh, defeated. Hold on. Cool. There we go. The game's like trying to resurrect them and stuff, but it's like looping because I'm, I'm persisting that. I mean, if you're resurrected, I would have thrown down with him again. You know, you're called to bang. You can't turn it down. No homo. Um, yeah, I guess uh, my next one's going to be... What should I do next? Demon Princess? I mean, might as well get that out of the way. It's a really bitchy one. I just did Freed. I can annotate Freed pretty nicely. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, so this covers me here. If, you, if you're still stuck on it, you should get him. Again, no no real equipment is necessary, you just need a vertical slash.
because you need to be able to hit him. Um, you know, theoretically speaking, but of course it's always that physical barrier. <laughs> so yeah, if you're, unless you're comfortable fighting with three hours, I guess do something similar to what I did build-wise. Uh, yeah, I'm going to quit out. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, 9.43. Okay, so there's there's something I don't watch on TV. Um, what? Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm pause this. I'm just getting too hyped about the event tonight. 